for a while I've been after um, a cheap sequence of my modular system and uh, because I've done a lot of work with the AVR microcontroller this is an AVR down here um, I thought I could just make one uh, using an LED matrix and a few simple outputs um, so the idea of this is a, a prototype uh, board but this is um, a rotary controller that allows me to select uh, notes on here and I can place a note like this and the way this is arranged is a bit confusing but the first 16 the two top uh, rows are the first 16 notes then you've got 16 more and 16 more and then 16 more so there's a four blocks of notes and those come out of these outputs here which have currently wired up to these uh, analog drums so what I can do is whilst it's playing I can poke around with the sequence quite quickly quite easily just chuck notes in and improvise quite a lot um, the final version is going to have like um, sort of memory options and also the ability to change the length of each uh, section per, uh, per output so that means you can have really weird polyrhythmic stuff uh, and just muck around with it in real time so I'll demo it quickly I've got the um, Electri just as a time source right now um, the volume is right down on that so that's turned down if I press play you'll see it start scrolling through so that's showing that each of these notes is tapping through on each row currently it's got one on the bass drum let's put a few more in Quite fun to play around with, you can see that coming out of the, um, the module there. Also, quite nice if I start to mix in the Korg drums behind it. Of course, I can tweak these two. That's it. So I've got to work on the um, the software for this now. It's a bit ropey. You can't have two notes in a line because it's got this problem with the, the, the output triggers. And it's using this micro high side driver, um, which is making a lot of noise. I'm not quite sure how to omit the or mitigate the uh, interference from driving this uh, with uh, pulsive modulation, uh, and that's sort of currently making some noise on the outputs, which is a bit of a problem. So a bit of work to do, but it's a great little project. And uh, yeah, I'll post another video uh, when I put it working.